So it's Black Friday and Cyber Monday season. What this really means is for anyone who is selling anything online, this is going to be the most important time of the year. What this also means is there will be a lot of potential revenue generating opportunity that will be missed. And this is where AI can really help these businesses. Imagine this is your website. So a customer can come here and they will do the browsing. They're looking into different products and they look at an opportunity for them to get a 10% off so they can join the newsletter here and then click on subscribe. What they can also do is go on to any of the products and if they like it, they can go ahead and add to the cart. So this is where they can add to the cart. But then instead of proceeding to the checkout, like they can go ahead and save it for later. So that's one action that they can take. The other action that they can take is if they like something, they can leave a review. So amazing watch, must have, right? And then they can submit the review or they can subscribe for a price alert. So these are all the different things that the customer can do. The problem is during the Cyber Monday and Black Friday time of the year, there's just a lot going on. So what can be really valuable to the business users are two different things, right? A, visibility. For example, a dashboard like this, which can really provide them real-time visibility on all the different events that are happening, right? So that they can get a clear understanding. And then B, which is the most critical element, is an automation like this, which can automatically and intelligently handle all of those events. So for example, what we saw was that someone actually signed up for for the newsletter so as soon as someone signs up the automation actually ran and i got an email with this right so this was directly based on someone signing up then we left something on the card so this is where you get another offer automatically and then the third one was the really cool one where someone actually left a review here so in that situation what we can do is we can actually like take that review the original customer review and then we can generate an image which can actually become like a customer testimonial, right? So with just one shot, you're getting all of these different things automated for you. And that is exactly what I want to cover in this video, was as you can see, we can really make amazing use of this upcoming opportunity, which is both Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So please stay tuned. I'm going to take you step by step on what I did and how I approached this. And hopefully this will add a lot of value. So the overall architecture is really three different parts. One is the website, which is where all these event triggers really happen, right? And we are not really replacing the website. The website will be the business's website. The second part would be the brain, which is the automation piece, which is N8N. And the third part is the dashboard. For the website, I use Google AI Studio to wipe code and build this, build this website so that it can talk to N8N. Now, quick question. How does the website talk to N8N? It uses something called as a webhook. Now, think of a webhook like a digital doorbell. When someone presses a button on your store, it rings and it and, and says, hey, someone is at the door and here is the data that they brought. It's instant. Now, part two is the brain, which is N8N. This automation platform catches that doorbell ring and decides what to do next. So in this scenario, we have this node, which is called the switch node, which is the most important part of any complex automation. It's a router or a switch. Imagine a postal sorter, right? It looks at the incoming package label and then looks at, is this a review? Is this a card? And it shoots down to the correct conveyor belt. Without this, you would need five messy separate automations. We could have also used an AI agent in this scenario, but I wanted to keep it simple. The third part is where I've used Google Sheet as a dashboard to make it super simple, or you can build a dashboard on the web as well, which I showcased a few seconds back. So with that architectural understanding, let's get into part number one, which is in case you want to wipe code the website, I'll show you how. So for building the website, I am in my Google AI Studio. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with this, Google AI Studio recently completely changed the experience and added a ton of functionality. So when you come to the homepage, you are greeted by these three different cards. One is focused on wipe coding, which is what we're going to be using a lot in this. But then they also have the ability for you to chat with their models. If I click on this, this is where you can see that you are able to chat with all of their amazing different models. You are also able to create images. And this is where they have their famous Nano Banana model, Imagine model. You're able to create videos. You're also able to use audio. And then they also have this amazing live interaction capability where you're able to talk, also share your screen as, as well as just have a conversation via webcam. It's a real powerhouse where they have consolidated and made all different models available. They also have provided system instructions capability where you can create multiple system instructions and save it. 
and then some other advanced features based on the model that you select, right? So if I select the 2.5 Pro model, you can see there are a ton of other additional capabilities that you're able to select. You're also able to upload your YouTube video, record your audio and stuff like that. So it's pretty powerful and I would highly encourage you to check it out. Now they also upgraded their monitoring usage and projects experience, which is a dream come true for anyone who is using this to develop any software. So here you can immediately see all the different projects that are attached to this, all the different API keys based on different projects. And then this is the most critical one where for each project, what has been the usage, what is the rate limit and what has been the billing for the last few days. They also have recently added the capability to enable logs. So this is pretty cool as well. So that was the quick rundown on chat with models and the monitor usage. Now for this video, we're going to use the wipe code element where we will be wipe coding and building a couple of websites. So the first one, which I'm going to build is going to be a demo website, right? This is for those business users who do not have a website and just have a business presence. They can absolutely use this to create the website pretty quickly. So here is the prompt that I used and I'm going to share this with you guys later. But I just simply asked, build me a website that looks like a modern high-end electronic store with a dark theme. And then this is where I'm clearly saying that it will be using N8N's webhook to get the events data from the website. Now it needs to have a main page. It needs to have like product interaction. It needs to have shopping cart, main goal. So I'm happy to give you this prompt as in the comment section. And then when I come here, I can just put this prompt and then hit the build button and it's going to go off the races and start building. One of the coolest thing about the wipe code experience here is it gives you contextual recommendation. So it is saying, do you want to implement product search and filtering because we're building an e-commerce website, right? So it's pretty cool the way it does it. But what we are going to be focused on is the folder structure so that we can see where the webhook element comes to fruition. So we'll give it a second for it to complete its process and we'll come back pretty quickly. It has already thought for 22 seconds and it's already off the charts and racing to build and it's already created kind of the webhook and stuff like that. So it's pretty fast as you can see. All right, so it has successfully created the website. You can see the branding and everything over here. And of course, this is where you can go ahead and check out the files. Now, you don't have to worry too much about it. I think the most important element that I want to see is the webhook piece. And you can see that here it has created this constants.ts where we already have the link of the webhook. The importance of webhook here is this is where the events need to be sent to N8N and it needs a hook so that it can gather those events, right? So that's why I want the website to have this capability built in. So if you have an existing website, make sure you talk to your admin to see if there is an existing place where they can give this webhook link so that it can start sending those events, right? So what we can do from here is we can basically deploy this app. If you're satisfied with the look and feel, this is the website that I had shown you guys before. So what I can do is I can easily deploy this directly from here. This is something which I've already deployed in my Google Cloud and it allows you to select the project which is billing enabled and then it gives you an application URL like this. So here you can see that particular URL is live, right? So this is what is deployed in Google Cloud. So let's count the number of events that we have, right? So this one, if someone is browsing, they click on this. So if they can submit a review, so that's event one. They can have a price alert, so that's two. They can add to the cart and then leave the cart, so that's three. Then they can join the newsletter, that's four. And then lastly, this is more on the admin side and they can run the end of the day kind of summary, right? So that's event five. So we're looking at five different events. And then we need to think about a default event where everything fails, then that could be event as well. So we're thinking of like total of six events, right? So good to have this structure in mind before we go into our second tool, which is N8N. All right, now I'm in N8N and the first thing that we will need to do is configure that webhook. So if I click on, this is the production URL link, which we should copy. And then we need to go back to this and provide this, the constant webhook over here and replace that with the production link. Once you have done that, then you have already established that whatever events are being fired from this particular website, the N8N webhook over here is able to receive all of that. So the idea, and then once you have set up that webhook, the next step will be for you to set up a switch. And this is the most critical element. Now we just counted together that there are six different types of events. And that is what you see here as well. So the first event is sign up. The second one is abandon cart. The third event is someone leaving a review. The fourth event is someone wants to have a price alert set. And then the fifth event is where there is a summary that is required. And then the last one here 
which we have just kept for default is if all of this breaks. So I still want to store information. So keeping that in mind, if I click on the this particular switch option, right, this is what I see. So what I'm really describing is an expression where if the event trigger is equal to a sign up, then this is going to be switch zero. If it is triggered as cart, then switch one, trigger as review, switch two, so on and so forth, right? So that is how the switch is going to be formed. Now let's look into each one of the, the different options and quickly configure that. All right, so the first one is the signup event and this is where I've connected it with a Gmail node where the idea is I'm just gonna send an email that thank you and this is your offer, right? So it's pretty straightforward. Once you come here, you need to specify your email authorization. If you're struggling with this, NA10 provides very clear instructions on how to do it. The resource here will be message and the operation will be sent. And then we are going to send it to the email, right? So that is something which is being captured from the previous one. And the subject is pretty straightforward. Welcome to the store. And here you can provide the code, right? The tip here is to use an HTML itself as part of the message. If you want to have a more polished an output. So if you want to have an output like this, you might need to provide an HTML format as well. If you want to have a single simple one, then you can just provide that particular message. So that's the first one. Similarly, for the second one, the event is someone abandons the card. So you can come here, do pretty much the same thing. And here you just say that if you're by addressing by the email that, hey, you left something behind. And then I'm going to offer you this much. If you look at this, this is the email that was generated. So the third one here is the AI review. What I'm really doing is I'm using a Gemini, the model here, in order to get the review message and polish it a little bit, right? So what I'm, what I'm saying here is, you're a marketing bot, turn the following review into a single punchy one-line ad copy. And then I want to use this to, to basically create an ad creative, right? So I'm going to use the customer testimonial and at the same time, reuse it as an ad. So that's the intention. So I pass it through, I pass it to the AI review. And then I attach another Gemini node here where the, the operation is actually like to generate an image, right? And this is where what I'm really saying is use the output, you know, professional product photography short of, of the, the actual product where someone actually left the review and then create an image and then overlay that with, with this particular, with this particular text, right? So once that is done, what I'm asking is to then send me an email with the attachment. So, you know, you saw that earlier where I had, I had gone, you saw that earlier where I had got this email which is exactly the output of, of the review with the image created using Nano and Nano, right? So that is, that, that is something which, which was done using the third mode, which is the AI review one. The next one is, is the pricing one. So here, all I'm doing is I'm really capturing the information directly in Google sheet. And then the last one is summary where I'm also capturing in Google sheet. So this brings me to an important topic where what I'm really trying to do is ultimately create a dashboard where I can show all of these things together, right? So which could be a live dashboard. So I have these different columns, you know, in my Google sheet. Now, again, I can use a Google sheet or I can send this, send all of those events again as a dev hook. For simplicity, I'm using a Google sheet. And now if you look at this, what I'm doing is for every event, I'm going back and updating the Google sheet column itself, right? So here, you know, you need to connect to your Google sheet account. And then this is a sheet, which I have, you know, the, the specific particular in the worksheet, the Google sheet itself. And I'm just suggesting like, okay, this is a timestamp. This is the new event type, and this is sort of the email body. So when you see here, I've been capturing all of the different events that have happened in the past, right? So I'm able to capture that. And then I'm able to you know, show this in a live sort of a dashboard. So that'll be, that'll be our third system that we will build. Okay. So before we do that, I want to make sure I run this one more time so that you can see the flow in action. So we are on row 30 and I want to show how it generates this in real time. All right, so let's look at all of these scenarios in real time. The first one which I'm going to do is I'm going to click on join our newsletter. And then if I go back to the sheet, here you go. You can see that I just did a new sign up. The next one that I'm going to do is write an add to cart. And again, I'm just going to save it for later. And here it should have run. And you would see that here the abandoned cart. The third one I'm going to do is come here and Maybe just write a review. This is a great phone and then do this. And then also maybe just leave a price alert, right? So I'm going to do all of those things at once. And then you can see that here it's, it's already gen, it's already recorded, right? 
So the idea is all of this will become part of the live dashboard that can be published and for you to go ahead and see. And at the same time, you are getting all of these emails directly as the node is executed, right? So you can see that the new creative now based on the watch, this phone is great, is also available because this is using Nano Banana in the backend, right? So if you go to N8N, you can also see the execution here. So this is the one which just got executed. So if I click on this one, you can see that all of these different items were written. So basically that is the end-to-end -end workflow that I wanted to show you. So the last piece of the puzzle is really this live dashboard that should be generated and should be made available via web. So this was pretty easy to do. So what I did was as the n 10 was capturing all the events and storing it in Google Sheet, then I created a different tab here and just provided this summarized formula. So I'm just counting the number of times the cart was abandoned and multiplying it by the price. Similarly here, I'm counting the number of times someone has actually kept a price alert. Here I'm counting the number of times the AI agent has worked. And then here I'm providing the sentiment, right? So once I'm done with that, then here there is a capability for me to publish this to the web. I can publish the entire document, but since I just want the dashboard capability, I'm just going to publish that to the web. And once you do that, then you have your dashboard published and you can get a live view of whatever is happening from your automation perspective. And this is going to be very helpful in this busy season when you can absolutely see how your revenue is impacted and how there could be a missed opportunity for you to enhance. And you can really go one step forward where you can actually create this entire dashboard as a website itself using Vibe Code. The only difference there would be in your N8N, instead of having this, you will have another webhook attached to all of these because now these events are, instead of writing to the sheet, they will write to another webhook, which becomes an input, which becomes an input to this particular website, right? So now your webhooks are coming over here and there you go, you have your complete mission control dashboard live. Then as soon as anybody is entering any details, you will be able to see this live. All right, that is what I wanted to cover from an AI perspective on how AI can really help real businesses during this very busy season. Now I have this crazy idea of what if you don't know what can be automated on your website? I'm gonna to try to build an AI bot that uses Google's Gemini's computer vision model to look at your website and then automatically discover every automation opportunity for you. If you want to see if that actually works, please let me know in the comment section. I'm hoping this video added value to you. And if it did, please hit that like button and do subscribe to the channel so that you're immediately notified with all the new videos that I create. Thank you very much for your time. I will see you in the next one.